Welcome to PowerTech Insights. In this tutorial, we'll guide you through primary injection tests for circuit breaker with RF542 Plus using HMI and CPC100. In this video, we are going to perform primary injection tests for circuit breaker with RF542 Plus using HMI and CPC100. Let's get started. The primary injection test ensures that the RF542 Plus relay, current transformers, wiring, and circuit breaker trip mechanism function correctly under fault conditions. This guide provides a detailed step-by-step -step procedure for conducting the test using an Omicron CPC100 and the HMI screen of RF542 Plus. Purpose of the test. Validate the complete protection system. Check RF542 plus relay trip response under high current fault conditions. Verify breaker operation by injecting current into the primary side. Confirm CT ratio, polarity, and secondary wiring integrity. Safety precautions. To ensure safety, always verify proper grounding before testing. Avoid touching any live parts. Use PPE to protect yourself, including HV insulated gloves and face shields. Ensure that all safety protocols are in place, such as lockout, tagout, and PTW procedures. Ensure the breaker is isolated from the system before testing. Verify the correct RF542 Plus relay settings before injection. Required equipment and tools. Omicron CPC100. Current probes clamp ammeter. Multimeter, test cables and connection clamps, laptop with ARIA 542 Plus configuration software, test setup, including cables, terminals, and a controlled environment for safety, test cables and clamps for secure connection to breaker terminals. Verify that all test instruments are calibrated and fully functional. Step by step test procedure. Step 1 Powering up the equipment. Turn on the Omicron CPC-100 and allow it to initialize. Turn on the ARIA 542 Plus Relay. Access the HMI screen of ARIA 542 Plus to check. Protection settings over current earth fault. CT ratio and wiring status. Event log. Clear previous events for a fresh test. Step 2. Connecting CPC-100 for primary injection. Primary side connection. Identify test points. If test access ports are available, connect directly to primary terminals. If not, use bus bar or cable terminations inside the switch gear. Connect CPC-100 test cables red to line one of the VSP A06 contact. Connect CPC-100 test cables black to line one of the VSP A07 contact. Ensure firm and clean connections to avoid measurement errors. Close the both VSBs, VSBA06 and VSBA07 to establish a current path. <music> 
Step 3. Configuring CPC-100 for primary injection. On the CPC-100 menu, select Primary Injection Test. High current mode. Configure the following parameters. Output type, AC current. Test current level. Set the current base on CT primary rating. Test duration, three to five seconds to prevent overheating. Frequency, match the system, 50 hertz or 60 hertz. Ramp up mode. Enable gradual current increase. Step 4. Injecting the test current. Press start on CPC 100 to inject the test current. Observe the real-time current values on the CPC 100 screen. Monitor the HMI screen of ARIA 542+. Check if the relay detects the overcurrent fault. Observe the trip signal and circuit breaker response. Record the trip time and fault details. Step 5. Checking relay and breaker response on ARIA 542 plus HMI. Using ARIA 542 plus HMI to verify test results. Navigate to main screen check breaker status, open or closed. Go to protection menu verify trip signal activation. Check event log for trip details. Fault current value. Trip time. Protection function activated, for example, over current or earth fault. If the breaker did not trip, verify. CT polarity and secondary wiring. Relay trip settings, for example, over current thresholds or delays. Breaker trip coil operation. Step 6. Resetting the system and repeating the test. Reset REF 542 plus relay after a successful trip. Reset circuit breaker manually or via HMI. Repeat the test with different current levels to validate performance. Adjust settings if the trip times or current levels do not match expectations. Step 7. Documenting and analyzing test results. Save the test report from CPC 100. Compare with relay protection settings to confirm accuracy. Generate a final test report for compliance and future reference. Troubleshooting and common issues. REF 542 Plus does not trip. Check if CT polarity and connections are correct. Ensure the overcurrent setting is lower than the injected current. Verify that relay protection is active. REF 542 Plus trips at the wrong current. Cross-check the CT ratio settings in the relay. Check if there are loose connections in the CT circuit. Ensure that CPC 100 is outputting the correct test current. Conclusion. By following these detailed steps, you can perform a precise and reliable primary injection test on an ARIA 542 Plus relay with HMI using CPC 100. This process ensures that the entire protection system, CT wiring, and breaker operation are functioning correctly. Warning. The high-voltage electrical activities shown in this video are dangerous and should only be performed by qualified professionals. Attempting these without proper training and safety precautions can result in serious injury or death. Do not try this at home or without the necessary expertise. PowerTech Insights is not responsible for any harm or damage caused by improper handling of electrical systems. Stay safe. Thank you for watching.
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more expert tutorials. See you in the next video.